<laughs> okay, uh, hey, oh, by golly, Richard Blackstone here with today's Create One Love Note and uh, Create One Love from the universe of the world to the universe of infinity. Aww. Oh, look, the infinity sign. <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> Way cool, of course. Create one love. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to give you a love note. Then we're going to talk about it. See how it applies to your daily life. So let's see what the love note says. Love note says, Okay, okay, I'm going to unveil the secret to manifesting your every desire. Oh man, I want to hear this one. <laughs> let's see. Be the change you wish to see in the world. That's it? <laughs> I know that this quote from Gandhi is something you have heard all along your spiritual journey. But I want you to see the absolute simple truth to the life transforming sentence. Life is all about being. Okay? It's not about doing. You are a human being and your being actually creates what you end up doing. Now think about and be aware of what you are being throughout your day and then how it is reflected in what you are doing. Then consciously and in supreme awareness be the change that you wish to see in the world. And I like to start with being kind. Wow. You know you know what the headline was this? You know what the first sentence was? Okay, okay, I'm going to reveal the secret to manifesting your every desire. Guess what? You just got the secret to manifesting your every desire. You know, Gandhi told us a long time ago, and it's, it's just so beautiful, so succinct. Be the change you wish to see in the world. That's all it is, because here's the deal. Everything happens as a state of being. And you get to choose any state of being that you want to experience. It's not a matter of trying to attain a state of being, going out and finding a state of being, paying for a state of being. It's n nothing like that. You are at choice at all times as to what state of being you wish to experience in the world. That's a, that is it. <laughs> and so, the more you are being the change you wish to see, say, say you want to uh, be more, uh, see more peace in the world. Well, the more you are being peace, the more your world is peaceful. And it's your world we're worried about, isn't it? We're not worried about the whole planet. You have your world that you can live in peace or you can live in turmoil. If you choose to uh, follow the path of warmongers and stuff. You can do that. But if you want to live in peace, you just be peace yourself. And don't worry about the rest of the world. That will take care of you. In fact, what you're going to do is you're going to set an example for the rest of the world of peace. And that's what the world needs. It doesn't need more peace rallies. It needs more peaceful people. That's how you get peace in the world. You know, I mean, how is it going to happen? Unless it happens that way. It's the only way it can happen. You have to have peaceful people. <laughs> so, just be peace. You want more love in your life? Be love. You be love. Now, don't wait. Don't say, well, they're not being loved to me. Uh, you know, uh, she didn't love me. Is that what? So what? You be the change you wish to see in the world. That. You want more abundance? Be abundant. You. Say, well, I don't have any money. Well, no wonder. You keep saying you don't have any money. That's who you're being. You're being a person who doesn't have money. <laughs> you want to change that? Be a person of abundance. Be a person with financial resources. You know, you think it's going to happen instantaneously? You think you're going to say, okay, I'm going to be abundant. Open up my wallet. It's empty. It doesn't have. It's not instantaneous. You gotta be it. <laughs> you know, it's just the game. The more you're being it, the more the universe 
sees that you are living in abundance in your mind. And it cannot distinguish between what's going on in an image in your mind and an image through your eyes that you're seeing in your external world. It cannot distinguish that. So if you are being a person of lack, then the mind is, you know, same thing. And that's what it keeps manifesting to you. And how are you ever going to get out of that unless you change your state of being? you got to be the person who has abundance, who has finances. And uh, when you do that in your mind, then all of a sudden the external world starts uh, answering that call. Be the change you wish to see in the world. I tell you, this is the most powerful thing, and I use it all the time. <clears throat> all the time, because when I got on my path of self-discovery and uh, self-improvement, I realized right away, right away, that it was much more important to focus on my state of being than it was on what I was doing. Because you realize pretty quickly that you, what you're doing comes from your state of being. So, uh, you know, it's more important to uh, focus on your beingness than on your doingness. Because your doingness uh, is birthed through your beingness. So, it's critical to be the change you wish to see in the world. <coughs> That's powerful. Powerful stuff. So, uh, I'm really excited uh, um, about this one. This is a, a fantastic love note because, man, this is transformative. This is transformative. And, and the headline is, is, boy, is it spot on. I'm going to reveal the secret to manifesting your every desire. There it is. You got it. Yeah. Use that tool. I mean, there's a lot more tools. But if you just use that one tool of being the change you wish to see in the world, then you will be exactly what you choose to experience. It is that powerful. Wow. Whoa. Man, what a great way to start the day, huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. Use this tool today. You know, and, and remember, uh, here's the key. Beingness creates doing this. It's not the other way around. You know, you don't do happy and then you are. First you be happy and then you do happy things. Well, use that as your mantra. You know, and if you're uh, wallowing in self-pity or something, then just change your state of being. It, it doesn't require anything outside of you. All it requires is your choice. It's just a choice. If you are uh, not enjoying your, yourself right now, then change your state of being. Change it. And you can do it any time. All you got to do is make a choice. You know, you get out of pity and shame and all that and go right into love and, and abundance and whatever you want. Powerful. Powerful. <laughs> use it. And as you're using it, use this tool too. Because this one includes this creative process. It's going to help you out too. This is a book uh, called Three Foundation Pillars. Go to getblueprintformanifesting.com. Just go there, get the book, and you start enjoying it right away. It's it's absolutely uh, wonderful. And there's an audio, too, and uh, uh, you really like the audio. It's great, great one. Okay, that's it for today. I want you to go out and have a beautiful day. Create your day. How? <laughs> By being the change you wish to see in the world. That's right. Okay, do it. I, I dare you. <laughs> okay. See you tomorrow. <coughs> Until then, as always, live in.